Now, Tommy, Kevin McHale is at 10 of his last 11 shots, but has not attempted one in the last eight minutes. That's the big mistake I think the Celtics made in the last six minutes. They have not gotten the ball inside, and they have settled for outside shots and tough outside shots. That's the game clock you see. The shot clock is 19, five second differential. Parrish playing with five fouls. Open his age. Bird goes for three. And the Lakers call time with 12 seconds left. Larry Bird with a big three point bomb has given the Celtics the lead. And now it's the Lakers' turn. Celtics try to use a matchup of Robert Parrish. It didn't work on the double team. They rotated all the way around to Bird, and Michael Thompson not fast enough to bother Bird on the shot. But before that all happened, you watch James Worthy holding Larry Bird's jersey. You're not getting away from me. Could not get away from Worthy until Worthy had to rotate out. Look at the hand on the jersey, and finally, Worthy moves out, and Bird all alone in the corner, and it's Three points. And the reaction by the Celtic bench. The Celtics have one timeout, and the Lakers now have one, and the Lakers still have a foul to give, which could be important if they do miss a shot here. Now, Tommy, where do you go now if you're L.A.? Magic or Worthy. with eight seconds to go. And of course, with a foul to give and you're tied or ahead, it pays to get one then. These are important free throws for Kareem right now. He is five for eight. Looking to tie the game. He's been there before. Has he ever? Has he ever? And it's Lakers ball with seven seconds to go. That gives him a chance now to go ahead with a basket. Riley wants to use his last timeout now. Games are decided by inches sometimes. Celtics have great blockout position, and all of a sudden they can't hold on to it. Off McHale, out of bounds. The Lakers have the ball and a chance to win it and go up 3-1. to one. And if Boston can stop the Lakers, we'll be all tied 2-2. Two and two. These are the hot shooters for the Lakers. Tommy. In the last few minutes, Kareem has missed two free throws and Michael Thompson won. Well, untimely free throws that could have changed the complexion of this one. You're right there, Dick, but right now the Celtics are faced with a real problem. They, the versatility of the Lakers' half-court offense really has them guessing as to who might get the ball. Kareem is a great option. James Worthy or Magic Johnson in the low post being guarded by Dennis Johnson. And Byron Scott is in the ball game now. Five seconds to go. Magic with a hook shot. Scores with two. And the Celtics trail by one with two seconds to go. And the Celtics have used their last time out. And Tommy, this is where the Lakers have a foul to give with two seconds to go. That if they use it, could limit the Celtics to one second left. You're very right there, but a little good play forces McHale to have to switch out onto Magic Johnson, and he puts that quick dribble on McHale and gets into the defense, and there's that real, real junior sky hook working. Look at it again. Little stutter step confuses McHale. I mean, that's what a great ball handler and dribbler can do to a big man. And look at that outstretched hook shot just worked beautifully. Magic said Boston guards a great shooting place, and he says one of the best in the league. He feels it was built for shooting, and he's proving it tonight by hitting eight.
There you see the one foul to give 12 for 20 from the field one foul to give and Tommy then they got to Make sure that they do it at the right time. That is absolutely and you know one of the things Dick, you can inbound the ball and you're going to shoot it quick with two seconds and if they make that foul as the guy is launching the ball that is a foolish foul then because it's shooting so you got to be very careful even in the two seconds because the guy more than likely is going to catch and shoot so it's the timing of that if it was three seconds maybe it's a different story in any event we'll be with you Thursday night at nine o'clock Eastern time for game five here in Boston Garden and the way the series is heating up who knows but the Lakers clinging to a one point lead that will give them a commanding three to one lead in the finals. Well barring a miraculous shot right now I think Pat Riley has done an absolutely fantastic job of getting the tempo back in the game that he wanted. The, the, the Celtics I think kind of gave it to them in the last six minutes. Michael Thompson is back in to try to distract Dennis Johnson on the inbound. Bird fires it. And the Lakers have won in Pat Riley and the Lakers dance off the court. This year's MVP Magic Johnson put in the winner with two seconds left. How fitting for the Lakers. Who came from 16 back to win and right now let's go to James Brown. JB. Magic Johnson one of the best comebacks ever. Did you guys ever think that you were out of it? Well of course you know you get down because they're up 15 but that's the mark of this team all season. We've been coming back. We didn't get down on ourselves. We just had to get tougher on defense, and then we started finally hitting some shots on offense. Did you think it was a conscious decision on their part to get more physical with you guys? Well, you know, it was a conscious effort on our part, too. I thought that uh, we came out maybe over aggressive. We were missing easy layups, easy shots, because we were so up. So we had to calm ourselves down, get back into our game. And we finally did that, finally in the, like, the latter part of the third on into the fourth quarter. But you got to give us credit. We play great defense, and we really box out. You're in need, Magic. They're very tender. They have given you problems before. How does it feel now in preparation for Thursday night? Well, it's, it's still sore, sore, but, you know, um, we came and hit me on the side of my knees, and uh, but it's all right. Can you win it Thursday? Well, we're going to go after it. We're uh, sure going to try. All right, Magic Johnson, the Lakers engineered one of the best comebacks in playoff history.